Hello everyone. Uh, we have a scenario where we have uh, on-premise domain joint machines and uh, we want to join them to Azure AD. We can do this by unjoining them from the on-premise domain and uh, joining them to Azure AD. Uh, we can do this manually on each and every machine but uh, that would take a lot of time. We do have another option wherein we can move them to autopilot and uh, reset those devices so they will go through the autopilot experience and join to azure ad in this video we will move one of our domain joint machines to azure ad and make it autopilot enabled we are doing this for one machine in this uh, demo but if you can do this for more than one machine benefit you will get is that your machine will be azure ad joined and also it will be autopilot enabled in order to achieve this, uh, one of the prerequisite is that we should have Azure AD Connect and our on-premise uh, identities must be synced with Azure AD. So in my case, I have a Windows 10 machine, which is Win 10 DOM 3. And currently it is joined to on-premise domain. So this machine is joined to my on-premise domain and I have Azure AD Connect so this machine is being synced to the cloud and if I go on my Azure Active Directory under devices I will see this machine has been 10 DOM 3. Also this machine is being managed through Intune and SCCM as I have co-management enabled. So if I go in Intune, go to devices, all devices, I will see my machine here and it's being managed by MDM and config manager agent. So my machine is hybrid join. It's being co-managed by SCCM and Intune. Now we will enroll this machine in autopilot, reset it and join it to Azure AD. For this purpose, first of all, I will create an AD group. In my case, I am creating an AD group on Azure, but you can have on-prem AD group as well, machine added to it and the AD group will get synced through Azure AD Connect and you can use that as well. So I will name it win 10 AAD join. And I will add my Windows 10 domain join machine to it. So if you have more than one machines, you can add them to the AD group. So now once this is done, I will go to Intune, go to device enrollment, windows enrollment, enrollment status page. So the default enrollment status page setting is uh, enabled and it is assigned to all devices by default. So that is fine. Under automatic enrollment, I have MDM user scope set to all. Then I will go in deployment profile. I will go to create profile and create the profile to join this device to Azure AD and autopilot. This is very important. We need to convert all targeted devices to autopilot. If we do not select that, then this will not work this machine will not get enrolled in autopilot so user driven is fine we want to join it to azure ad i will rename the device add a prefix aad and a random four characters after that next and i will as target it to the group which i created That is it from the Intune side. Now we will have to go to the machine and reset it. Here I am on my Windows 10 machine. So we are going to reset it now. I will select the second option and remove everything. 
I will go with the first option to remove the files and it will not uh, clean the drive so it would be much faster click on reset I will pause the video and start it back once it's uh, about to finish So it went till 100% and then it came to this screen resetting this PC and I will pause the video and come back once it's about to finish. I'm going to pause the video now and come back once uh, it's about to finish. It, uh, it rebooted while installing Windows and come back again at 73%. It took around 5 minutes in installing Windows okay now it's in out of box experience let's start the machine should have internet connectivity for it to work and now it is going into autopilot as uh, i can see my logo here so i will specify my account to join it to azure ad domain Another important point here is that uh, after it's joined to Azure AD domain, none of your group policies will apply to the machine. So before you move your machines to Azure AD from on-premise domain, make sure you have planned it well and you have uh, policies in Intune. To join more machines to Azure AD domain, you just need to add them to the AD group we created in Azure AD and they will get the profile assigned to them. and you then the machine can be resetted by the user you could give user the instructions on how to do that or the it people can do that and it will reset and go through our autopilot out of box experience register in azure ad now once the machine gets uh, registered in azure ad it won't have a sccm client on it so you can also set your Intune to deploy SCCM client during the autopilot enrollment. Now it is enrolling our device for mobile management. So it will enroll our device to Intune. Earlier the device was uh, co-managed. Now after we join it to Azure AD, it will be enrolled to Intune device preparation step is finished now it is doing device setup now it is in the last step of account setup so we will wait for a few minutes and i will pause the video and come back once it's done now the joining process has been completed and i am on my desktop and now this machine is azure ad joined it won't have any sccm client that got uninstalled and now it will be managed by intune no internal group policies will apply to this machine i have got my softwares as well which i push through intune so they are also installing so this was a demo on how to move your on-premise machines to autopilot and then join them to azure ad in your production environment, you may want to do this after proper planning, after moving all your group policy settings, your application deployments to Intune. You can also install SCCM client from Intune and enroll this device in SCCM as well and manage from there. You could have co-management enabled. I hope you like this video. Please uh, subscribe and press the bell notification icon on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.